everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a, another fun six by six paper project for you. So a while back I had done a six by six album and um, I feel like it was one of my most popular videos. So I wanted to kind of recreate something like that again and I'm doing it so we don't have to like cut too much. I mean, really not at all, just maybe like one little section. Um, and just kind of do our pages so it's a fuller size album without, you know, because most tutorials you have to fold and it becomes really small. This way you have a really good size album. So um, when you open it, you have your little pockets here. You can put tickets or you can put washi samples, whatever it is, pictures, however you're using your album. And I have these little tabs here and you can see I kind of like made it like a waterfall. And I left these blank because I want to show you how you can kind of utilize this um, from my other tutorials. So like how we had done those little pockets, you could like add little pockets like these on the inside and the back. Or you could even, oh, here's one that's loose. So you could add something like that on there if you want some more storage. Typically I do like a little vellum pocket, but I just wanted to switch it up. And also I remember how we had done these little envelopes. Maybe even something like that. You could do the smaller version or something like this just to add some more, I don't know, pockets in here. So here I have this. And the next page I have another little pocket and you have a little folder pocket. So you have lots of little tuck-in spaces and of course the little glitter strip. And then, um, yes, there's gonna be lots of bows and pink in here <laughs> just cause I felt bow happy. But I just added some embellishments. You could put picture there or just a piece of paper. And this could be another folder, but I wanted to show you just a fun way to make it interactive. Or if you want to put a little prize, you could even seal this up so it's just a big folder. But I just wanted to show you another way to utilize that page. So it's really simple. I mean, we're using five uh, six by six papers. And... Um, yeah, it's going to be just an easy tutorial. So hold on. So go ahead and pick out five six by six papers. Now I had written that down. So five six by six papers. And I actually messed up recording this like a few minutes ago. So I'm out doing it again. I had forgot to do my pockets and I'm like, wait a minute, what am I doing? So I have six pieces here, or do I have six? No, I have five, okay. I thought it was going crazy for a minute. So if we're gonna start page by page, we're gonna start with the cover and just kind of work our way down. So grab your scoreboard. And the best part about this is there's no binding. You're really just gluing the pages together. And we love that, right? No one likes to do the binding. <laughs> I personally don't. That's why I've kind of moved away from the accordion type albums. Not that I don't love them. It's just I prefer something easy. So, okay, page one, our cover is going to be a half an inch score. Okay, that's simple. And we're pretty much going to always have that half inch on every page. So that keeps the pages flowy and moving as we make this book. And you definitely want to kind of bend it out so that it moves as we go along, okay? So that's the first page. Page two, we're doing a half an inch and four inches. And this is obviously preference where you want your things to be. So half an inch and four inch. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bend this a little bit and this here. Now this is gonna be where our little pockets are right here. So for this, you can eyeball it, but me personally, I like to put it, you know, put this side up here and I'm gonna score it at three inches. So just right in the middle. So you have that line right there. And then that's where I will go in and cut it. So I'm gonna do it on this side so you can see it better. And I don't really have a method for this to be even. I just kind of eyeball it. Just kind of cut like a little triangle, just so it has some space like that. And then you'll have this cute like pocket. I kind of wish I had done it on this side. Can I still do it on this side? 
Yes, I can. So I'm just flipping mine because I don't really want the wood to be my pockets. So we will go ahead and I just glue this. You could sew it. I think sewing this would look beautiful. I had almost done that, but just trying to keep it easy because this album is supposed to be easy. So I'm just putting those pockets down and we're gonna let that just dry for a second. And I'm gonna put that, um, the first cover that we just did on top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. So this is page one and two. And I just line it up. You see how you have that bend. I'm gonna have that bend in there. So page one and two, all done. And I mean, if you wanna just create, um, sorry, I have to let this dry. If you wanna just go ahead and create pages just like this, you can do that too. But. Oops, sorry, I'm having a little bit of, I shouldn't have let that go so soon. Okay, so while that's drying, hopefully I have enough glue on there. Let's go to page three. And I already scored this by accident while I was filming, but I'm still going to score it with you. So this is page three, and we're going to score it a half an inch and four and a half inches, which I've already done. But half an inch and a four and a half. dry yet all right so again just kind of flatten this out and we're just gonna stack it up and glue it right on there and this is gonna be our little side photo pocket or folder You could even keep it interactive. You don't even have to make like this a pocket. If you wanted to kind of just fold in and out, you can do that. All right, I'm gonna fold this down and I'm just gonna fold this in to create that side pocket. So we're on page three, so let me just show you how it's gonna look. It'll be this one right here. You can corner around it or again, you could sew it. You could even, um, put like a little, put it through your dye machine and make like a heart here or just whatever you wanna do, or just some ideas. See, we're ready on page three. We literally have like two pages left and we have to make our um, little pocket. I guess we'll just do that at the end. I just wanna continue with the pages. <clears throat> Page four is gonna be a half an inch and five inches. So a half an inch and five inches. So this folder was like smaller because I have it layering up like a waterfall. This is a little bit shorter. That's why I was like, hmm, what else could I do with this? Because maybe it's too small for a folder, but I don't think so. Go ahead and stack it on there and glue that on. I'm just gonna basically just lining it up. And I even like it I like it kind of interactive and open. That's why I put that piece there. So anyway, as you go, it'll be like this. So it's kind of like layered. I did it that way so that the tabs look pretty when they're showing. And I don't know if you're doing a planner or something. I think that would be neat. Here's my little door, my little page here. So if you're doing this, if not, you can just leave that. If you are, 
it's just a four and a half by four and a half inch paper. And I just kind of put that on here. So let me just make sure it's even. Oh, mine's a little long, so let me trim this. It's probably just the way I scored it. But I'm just gonna shave it like a quarter of an inch. So maybe, oh, so maybe um, four and a quarter by four and a half. Okay, that's better. And I'm just gonna eyeball this and put it on here. And then I'm going to stick that on right here. So I have that little door. And just open it like that and then the last page is very simple your fifth page is just going to be a half an inch score and we're going to stick that on the back so you see how like easy it is how you can take those you know paper pads and for those who have single sided honestly what you can do is so I always feel bad because I never mention things you can do if you have and you don't mind like you just have so many single, you can like just glue them on. So you have two pages and it's not gonna show. You know what I mean? You can do that. Cause I have a lot of single sided too. Maybe I'll do a video that's just single sided. But again, that's what I would probably do if I really wanted an album to work doing this. And then you'll have like these extra pockets too. Cause you could, glue it so the top is open here and then you have all these cute little pockets so I definitely have to but this is a great flat mail if you don't fill it up too much so right there you have your album so simple so let me do the pocket here which is going to be that right there so that pocket is a four by four and a half inch paper and we're just going to score it three times around at a half an inch hold on let me see which way did i do this pocket okay so do the shorter side I mean, the, the four and a half inch, I'm kind of doing it right here. One, and then the longer side, and then the shorter side. And let me get this scoreboard out of here. It's very difficult working with that thing. But I just feel like it's easier to move along. And so, I'm just going to... Why do I feel like I did this on the wrong side? <laughs> I think I put the scores on the wrong side, you guys. I think it was supposed to be too long. Let me see when I close it. Oh no, it does fit, but it's barely fitting. Okay. Let me check this paper. Four by four and a half. All right, hold on. I want you guys to have your pocket. So four, I'm just cutting out another piece by four and a half. I felt like I was doing that wrong. And I was. So you're gonna do, this is still the same size paper. I just do your two long sides and then the short side. So four inch score. Four and a half inch score and then four inch score half an inch sorry about that oh no bandits up 
You guys know what that means. He's going to start whining soon. <laughs> I'm just going to cut those two so they're not in my way. You don't have to do that part. I just do it. Oh, there you go. Yes, good morning. He just had a really long walk at the dog park. <laughs> okay, and we're going to put that in. Okay, that's so much better. Hold on, buddy, okay? I got work to do here. He's like, what do you mean? I am your work. <laughs> Dogs, I didn't realize how demanding they were until I had one. Like, I really thought they just kind of sit there and, you know, hang out. But no. <laughs> they are just like kids and they want your attention so much. So I really feel like what made this album was putting these little pretty bows on here. So now that we've got our pocket in, I'm going to go ahead and decorate this. As long as my little guy over here lets me be. Hey, buddy. I'm just going to add some more of these bows. And I'll put these dies down. I'll see if they still have it. I'm sure they do. I have it, I think, from Amazon or something. So here, and then for the sides, you could put like little tags or whatever, or, you know, something like this, just in there. I shouldn't have put that there. So let me see here. I got this, but I made this too long, so let me cut this a little shorter. To show you something can go in there like that so it doesn't have to necessarily be a tag put that in there but I do like the tag in there and then I have cut out with my little punch but you can use anything I have a whole bunch of tabs here that I cut out from this line. So I put mine in the back because I don't mind it showing. Oh no, I put it on the wrong side. I wanted this side to show. So I put that tab there and you can see it just kind of, I'm glad I didn't get my pocket. I forgot my pocket was back there. Okay. I feel like you can conserve more tags when you cut these in half. Put this one over here. This would be kind of nice this way. Oops. Let's see. Is that straight? I have that, and then I put one more tab right here. I'm gonna use this lighter color since I've been using some blingy ones. I'm gonna put that there. And I'm just sticking something in here just to show you that there is a pocket there. And what's going on? Did I glue this down too much? So I got that. And I did add another bow. But I'm going to use this side because that's too much pink. And I lifted this up a bit. Oh, you guys, I wasn't petting him, so... I took my sweater off before um, I started filming, and he's laying on it. He's like, it smells like mommy. All right, and then I had done, just put something in here. So it really looks beautiful once you start filling it up. I may regret this glitter strip here right now. 
but I'm just gonna do it because it just adds so much to the album. And I found my favorite tool to use. So this is actually not a craft tool. This is the Sugar Bell. It's actually for, um, oh, you can't even see it. It's for cupcakes. But I got it at Tuesday morning a long time ago. And it's my favorite tool to use. I like it much better than, um, oh no. <laughs> I like it much better. That's okay, I'll recycle this. Uh, I like it much better than the other tools. I told you I was going to regret this. <laughs> there are no glitter regrets, right? Just glitter messes. Oh no, it's all inside there. I should have done this first, but hold on. I gotta, I gotta dump this glitter train. <laughs> it's all over me. It's all over my floor, and it's probably all over banded. But look at it, it's so pretty now. It was just kind of flat before. And then here, so you see how I added those embellishments there? This is kind of just a plain page, but you could even add, um, if you don't want to do too much work, you could add like a little belly band here as well. That's what I think I had in my other album was like a belly band type thing. And then, here is my circle punch. Hmm. I only have my small one. Sorry, you guys. My desk is a, is a bomb, as usual. And I can't find my circle punch. I have a smaller one. I guess I'll use this. Right, this is just a scrap. And that can go like on here. This is too small. I have a heart one. Cause before I even got on here, I was kind of jabbering on the phone with my friend. And sometimes I'm cleaning up my desk as I talk. And then I forget where I put it. All right. I'm just gonna make a little hole here, just kind of in the middle. And again, you can use an eyelet or a brad if you don't have an eyelet punch. I'm just going to use an eyelet. And my son went back to school today for spring break, which it's the kids need a routine. I've come to this, and as much as excited as I am to have him home. I realized by the end of the break, it's time to go back to school. And I love having him home. And then I miss him when he's not here, but they really need a routine. Or they just get like cranky when they stay up too late. And my son is 10. This is something I've come to realize he's never going to ever like stop. He's going to be like his dad. <laughs> okay. And then the front, just to kind of break it up, I had used a scrap. And as you can see, these aren't even the same size. Like, if you want this size, because I do like the way it looks, it's um, one and a half inches by six. So I really just took a piece of scrap and just put it on there. And then I put the bow. So this is a little bit thicker. This is about two inches here. You could even put a glitter strip on here. I bet that would be really pretty. Should I do it? Should I make the mess? <laughs> Maybe, let's see how this comes out. So putting that on here. I feel like it needs it because the lettering on here is just too much. But I feel like it needs a thicker one, like a thicker piece of tape. And I have a whole bunch of new tape. I just didn't take it out yet. So let's see this one. Then it's behaving. So I have time to kind of, you know, putz around for a minute. Actually, I feel like it needs to be on this side. Okay. 
So I usually just rip it and then trim it at the end. Okay, I can't forget to do this. I know my normal viewers are like, you better take the bone folder and put it down. All right, let's see how it looks like this. Let me grab another scrap. Let's see how this comes out to give you guys some more ideas. I feel like I should have used a thicker one. But... Glitter bomb. I kind of wish I put it a little bit more on the edge there, but that's okay. You could even take, honestly, because I don't really love where I put that. And I almost wonder if I put another little strip here, if that would fix it. So I'm putting a thinner strip of tape. This may make it look worse. This is just an experiment, okay? Let's just go along with this. I can be the test dummy here. Oh no, I ripped my tape. I can fix that. And let me just see what this looks like. I don't know, just so we can see what it looks like together, like a thinner strip with that. I missed a spot. Yes, buddy. Oh, you're up. Hi. I'm almost done. Hey, buddy. He's like, did you forget about me? No. I'm just trying to craft. Hold on, okay, buddy? Okay, so that's kind of pretty. But I definitely would put... Um, a little dye or something. So where is my bow? So I have this here. I probably put something even bigger, like just to fill it up. And this is way too much pink, but that's okay. So so sorry that took forever, <laughs> but I just wanted to switch it up a little bit and show you something else. So you could have a glittery one, or you can do something just like that. And then you could even corner around this as well. All right, guys, this is just another fun six by six album. I hope you liked it. And don't you worry, I have so much more coming. All right, guys, thank you.